Facts. 20, 2021, man, a murder rate in New Orleans. New Orleans had the third highest murder rate behind St. Louis and another city. So, like, shit really ain't been slowing down. Shit never really slowed down out here. So, it, growing, I feel like growing up out here is really like growing up in a damn jungle almost. You always got to be on your P's and Q's. Sure, and, sure. you know, you really grew up in a church or so. How, you know, how, how, how did you get accustomed to that? Or is it just something that you was just always a part of? I mean, fuck, like, like, I really, I'm, before I'm, like, my, all right, my dad, my dad from the Ville, my dad, all these people from the Ville, my mom, them from the night walk, my mom was living in the Noy. So when I was, like, a jit, I was really, I'm, I'm really from the Noy, you feel me? Right. But I moved to the Ville. My grandma, I mean, my mom had to start working doubles and shit, so I moved with my grandma in the Ville when I was, like, eight, nine years old. But, like, when I was nine, ten, I seen my first murder, like I was in the car with my dad, best friend. And he got out the car by the stove, nigga pulled up and wet him up, killed him, right? My face type shit. So I feel like I had to adapt to shit since then. You know what I'm saying? Just saying shit that the average person ain't seeing at that age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been fucked up as a jit, for real, for Facts. real. Like then when I was like 13, I saw my big brother Ryder dead with a bullet in his head. So, you know. Alright. Like my childhood in the air. Right. So what that do to a child? Like I feel like that take a you know a child and turn him into a man. I know you say you lost your dad too. At a, uh, how old you was when you lost your pops? I was one. So you was one. So you my really dad died in my face too. Right. So you really you, you ain't really. So did you ever have like a father figure in your life growing up? Or? My uncle Stone. I ain't lying. Uncle did a lot for a nigga growing up. Right. You know what I mean? But he 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 ended up. Catch some charges and shit. He died in jail. All right. But like, shit, shit. See, like, unk, unk used to always make sure a nigga scrape, but you know, nigga being who a nigga is, nigga still was their own man. So nigga still was making their own decision. Sometimes I wasn't even listening to unk. You feel me? I'm he telling me come down line and do this, but I'm in a project doing that type right. shit. You feel me? Right. But now I be thinking about it. I'd be wishing I would've like listened to some of the shit he told me because I'd probably be like more successful in life than I am right now. Facts. So like people, I'd be talking to people around the city, they'd be like, man, you know, see food, real, like gangster, and like not even on no like crazy shit, just stand up this type shit. Yeah. So, you know, how that make you feel to know like that you get that type of respect from people in your city? Even if some people might not support you as far as like Musically or this or that, but they know like he stand up. He, you know, yeah. about what he be talking about. You be hearing that shit in the window. Yeah, I mean, you know, fuck. Like, I mean, I just been a real nigga in every situation. Like, even niggas who probably hate me, probably won't do me something. They gonna tell you I'm a real nigga though, cause that's all I know is how to be a real nigga. All right. 